Hey guys, Trickshot here, and today I'm going to be giving you a rundown on my song, Admiration, and just going to be showing you a bit of how I made it and the sound design into it. So first things first, let's start out with the chord progression. After that, I added a volume LFO automation to it, to kind of give it a more future bassy wing wong type of feel. As for the bass, it's the exact same thing as the saws, but with a slightly different pattern. If you play the bass and the saw together, you can tell that the bass has a distinctive and separate pattern. As for the lead and the vocal chops, they're very simple. The reason why I have this volume automation is because it can get a bit messy if you don't have it. The automation, it kind of just clears it out and makes it a bit cleaner. I also dragged in this vocal shop from Cymatics. Only reason I did like this as much is because this part right here, the last uh, four bars, went really well with it. It's very catchy, very catchy. The drums were very simple, just your gen like most generic trappy future bass drums. One thing that I did that I don't do in many of my future bass songs is that I added a crash every time the kick hits. That's what I did in my biggest future bass video, and uh, I haven't done it since then in like an actual release song. Build up's very simple, it just takes a whole bunch of the drop elements, uh, starts a filter on them. Uh, then other elements from like the intro and stuff. Just puts it all into a build up. Adds more excitement. I have this snare that I got from my sample pack. Sounds very good. Simple risers, downlifters, drums, crashes. For the intro and the verse, it's very simple, just very trappy for the drums. For the saws, it's pretty much just like the drop elements, but with more elements from the intro, like the kalimba, a piano, some keys, a, a, a saw pad, and but with the saws on this, I added a filter. And that really does change it, make it a bit more mellow. For the intro, it's just a kalimba, a piano, and a pad, with things building up, obviously. Now, it's mainly just a reverse of it for the rest of the song, other than this little arp right here. And I did add one thing that isn't in the original song that I left out of the original song because I didn't think it fit, and it was this vocal. Still in love with the blood 
Here's the vocoder. Now what you'll be seeing right here is the basic sound design of everything. As you can tell, everything is incredibly simple, very easy to make, just basically saw, saw waves, sine waves, square waves, all very generic and very easy to make instruments that will change everything last but not least we have here a respace that i made that's pretty much the end of this everything will anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you need and if you'd like there is an flp in the description and i will be letting you guys use this as a kind of template and educational purposes for things like mixing, other things like sound design, music theory, and other things I didn't go into in this video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.